bit of a change of scenery today. It's a nice sunny day and I've been sent a camera to review. So I thought, well, why not get out and do the whole thing outside, get the photos at the same time as putting this bit together. Sit here on a bench on a cold day, looking like a bit of a nutter talking to himself. So the camera I've been sent is the Kodak Smile Classic. Now, this was sent to me by a company called, I think, C&A International. They're the holders of the Kodak brand when it comes to the instant photography type of stuff. I think the Kodak thing's been split all over the place. So they've sent it me for free. So what I'm going to say about that is, uh, that means I haven't bought this, uh, but also they haven't paid me for making this video. But I'm going to put that, this is a paid promotion thing. I'm going to tick that box for this video because I don't know where I stand when I get something for free. I mean, is it payment in kind? So you might as well just tick it and say, yeah, it's a free sample being sent for the purpose of making this uh, review. Very simple device. I quite like the retro look to it. I don't know if you can sort of see this properly. We've got this kind of angled shape to it. Just the one button on the back for the shutter, fully automatic, other than we've got a 10 second countdown timer button here as well. To switch it on, you switch this lever on the side here and just watch this, this is cool. Viewfinder pops up, I like that. So you've got your viewfinder in the back there and then it makes a little noise there to say it's on. There's a bit of a delay uh, after you switch it on before you can take a picture. But then to switch it off, push that down. I think it must sort of have to heat up inside or something because it uses zinc paper. Now I've taken pictures with zinc in the past. I've always been a little bit disappointed because the colors are quite muted and it wasn't able to get the white right. The white was always like a shade of gray. So I'm hoping I've improved that. It's supposed to be improved somewhat. The main improvement though is the size of the paper is larger now. It's 3.25 by 4.5. The previous zinc used two by three inch. Now, because it's got a zinc printer in here, you can connect to it via Bluetooth from your phone. If you download the smartphone app, you can print out the photos from your phone on this device. It's also got a memory card slot on the side here, so you can store your photos. It takes uh, 16 megapixel photos. So at the same time, you're taking a picture and printing it out. It's also storing a digital version on the card. We've got a USB charging slot in here. It's good for, I think, 35 photos on one charge. So yeah, pretty simple little device. That's all there is to it. You just switch it on and press a button, take a picture, comes out of the front, stores it on the memory card as well. So uh, let's get off and have a go with it. Now, even though I've only got one button to press, this one on the back here, I'm still finding it a little bit confusing to use because when I take a picture, you press the button and then there's like a delay and you're thinking has it responded to the button press and is it waiting to print or has it not responded and then you end up taking another picture i'm still not too sure whether i'm rushing it or not so let's find out now i'm gonna uh, switch it on i'll do this all one-handed very pleasing mechanism there right so let me try and take a picture over here now now first off it makes a little chime sound so let me uh just get the picture here right so pressing a button now it does like a beep, a countdown, like a did 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 did, and then another beep. So now I'm sort of waiting. Is it, is it responding to my button press? Is it about to print? Or am I wasting my time standing here? I mean, you end up putting it up to your ear thinking, oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's just a really long delay. I've kind of figured it out at last. Now while it's printing, I suppose I could mention a couple of other things about it. On the front here where the lenses are, I don't know if you can see that. Um, that part of it, well, it doesn't get protected when you uh, close it. So you probably be best carrying this around in a bag. It's a weird size as well to carry around in a pocket. Uh, well, it doesn't fit in a pocket. Uh, so you need to sort of carry it around in a rucksack or something or just hang it on your hand like this. But it is, it's a bit of a chunky thing, this, since it's like a very early digital camera like that. So was it Apple did that digital camera originally? Anyway, we're getting somewhere now with this printout. So there we go, that's the picture. Can you see that? What I think I might try doing is taking this picture with my smartphone and then printing it out on Bluetooth in a minute. So we'll get on with that and uh, see how that turns out. So what I'm gonna try to do is print out the photo that I took with my phone to compare it with the one that I took with the device to see if they look the same once they've been put onto this zinc paper. Now I'm not gonna do anything special with it. You can put all sorts of filters on it and stickers and things like that. So you kind of get the idea is the kind of age group that it's aimed at if you're putting stickers on your picture. All right, so it's printing at the moment now, it says. Nothing from here yet, but it is sending it out over Bluetooth. So we've got a photo in here going over to there, and then this is gonna print it. I think this is perhaps the use that most people will get out of this thing. 
they might not want to carry this around with them, but they've got the smartphone with them, no doubt, and then when they get home, they can print an instant photo. So here we go, it's coming out now. I think this is looking a bit brighter. Okay, can you see that? Let's get those in there. The washed out one, that's the one taken with the camera itself. The one with the colours, <laughs> that's the one taken with the smartphone. So you can see the difference there. Perhaps it makes a better printer than it does a, a digital camera. To try and give you a bit of a better idea as to the quality of those zinc printouts, I've scanned in all the pictures I've taken and I'm going to show you a gallery now of the original digital photo and then the zinc printout of it. So, here we go. When I showed these photos to the missus, she said they remind me of 1970s pictures, and I can see what she's saying by that. They've got that kind of colour tint to them, which reminds me of old family snapshots. So if you like that aesthetic, then this camera automatically applies it to every picture it prints. A few more things to quickly mention. The flash is fully automatic. You can't manually switch it off or on. It will just fire in low light. The lens is a fixed focal length and the self timer, you can adjust the timing of that between three, five and 10 seconds using the app. This is definitely not the camera for a person in a hurry because once you've pressed that shutter button, you have to wait for approximately one minute while it prints that image out before you can take another photo. You can't queue up a load of photos and have them print out later. Although you probably wouldn't want to do that because the cost of the photos is quite expensive. In the UK, the zinc paper works out at approximately 75 pence a sheet and over in the US, it works out about a dollar a picture. Right, so let's sum this one up. Well, the Kodak Smile Classic, an instant digital camera, a very simple camera to use. Not really all that much you can say about it. You've got one button to take a picture, another one for a self-timer. If you want to take photos without printing out every time, you can take the paper out, but that's inconvenient. So pretty much you would be taking a picture and storing it on the memory card and printing it at the same time. I think the kind of place you'd maybe take one of these to would be sort of parties and stuff. I mean, maybe if somebody had a, a wedding, there's one of these on every table for instant photos or something. That could be a, a one idea. I know that uh, younger children quite like these. Whenever I've gone to family gatherings, I've given an instant camera to a nephew and said, oh, go off and take some pictures. And they get some pretty interesting photos of like people chatting and stuff. And they enjoy doing it. They really like the instant, you know, the paper coming out of the thing or the photo coming out of it. But, you know, you've had a look at it now. That's the Kodak Smile Classic. I don't know what else I can say about it other than I'll put some affiliated links in the video description text box if you're interested in purchasing one of these. Uh, but that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.